Good morning, everyone. Our opening hymn today is number 382, Lord, You Give the Great Commission, number 382. Lord, you give the great commission, heal the sick and preach the word. Lest the church neglect its mission and the gospel go unheard. Help us witness to your purpose with renewed integrity, with the Spirit gifts empower us for the work of ministry. Lord, you call us to your service in my name and eyes and teach that the world may trust your promise life abundant and for each give us all new in community where the Spirit's gifts empower us for the work of ministry. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Father. As we gather today to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us pause and call to mind our sins, asking God to fill us with love, mercy, and forgiveness. Lord Jesus, our brother and our guide, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, our way and our truth, Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, our life and our hope, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Glory, Glory to God, God in the highest and on earth, peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father. Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us, for you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, constantly accomplish the Paschal mystery within us, that those you are pleased to make new in holy baptism may, under your protective care, bear much fruit and come to the joys of life eternal. We make this prayer through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen.
A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. As the number of disciples continued to grow, the Hellenists complained against the Hebrews because their widows were being neglected in the daily distribution. So the Twelve called together the community of the disciples and said, It is not right for us to neglect the word of God to serve at table. Brothers, select from among you seven reputable men, filled with the spirit and wisdom, whom we shall appoint to this task. Whereas we shall devote ourselves to prayer and to the ministry of the word. The proposal was acceptable to the whole community. So they chose Stephen, a man filled with faith in the Holy Spirit, also Philip, Procreus, Nikine, Timon, and Parmenas, and Nicholas of Antioch, a convert to Judaism. They presented these men to the apostles, who prayed and laid hands on them. The word of God continued to spread, and the number of the disciples in Jerusalem increased greatly. Even a large group of priests were becoming obedient to the faith. The word of the Lord. Thanks be Thanks to, God. to God. Lord, let your mercy be on us as we place our trust in you. Lord, Lord let, let your, your mercy be on us as we place, place our, our trust, trust in you. Exalt, you just, in the Lord. Praise from the upright is fitting. Give thanks to the Lord on the harp. With a ten-string lyre, chant his praise. Lord, Lord let, let your mercy be on us as, as we place our trust in you. Upright is the word of the Lord, and all his works are trustworthy. He loves justice and right. Of the kindness of the Lord, the earth is filled. Lord, let your mercy, mercy be, on be on us as we place our trust, trust in you. See, the eyes of the Lord are upon those who fear him, upon those who hope for his kindness, to deliver them from death and preserve them in spite of famine. Lord, Lord let, let your, your mercy, mercy be on, on us as we place, we place our, our trust, trust in you. A reading from the first letter of St. Peter. Beloved, come to him, a living stone, rejected by human beings, but chosen and precious in the sight of God, and like living stones. Let yourselves be built into a spiritual house, to be a holy priesthood, to offer spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God through Jesus Christ. For it says in Scripture, Behold, I am laying a stone in Zion, a cornerstone, chosen and precious, and whoever believes in it shall not be put to shame. Therefore, its value is for you who have faith, but for those without faith, the stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone, and a stone that will make people stumble, and a rock that will make them fall. They stumble by disobeying the word, as is their destiny. You are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people of his own, so that you may announce the praises of him who called you out of darkness and into his wonderful light. The word of the Lord. Thanks be, Thanks to, God. be to God. Father, your blessing. May the Lord be in your heart and on your lips, so that you may proclaim the Holy Gospel, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. I am the way, the truth, and the life, says the Lord. No one comes to the Father except through me. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not let your hearts be troubled. You have faith in God, have faith also in me. 
In my Father's house there are many dwelling places. If there were not, would I have told you that I am going to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back again and take you to myself, so that where I am you also may be. Where I am going, you know the way. Thomas said to him, Master, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you know me, then you will also know my Father. From now on, you do know him and have seen him. Philip said to him, Master, show us the Father, and that will be enough for us. Jesus said to him, Have I been with you for so long a time, and you still do not know me, Philip? Whoever has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, show us the Father? Do you not believe that I am in the Father and the Father is in me? The words that I speak to you I do not speak on my own. The Father who dwells in me is doing his works. Believe me that I am in the Father and the Father is in me, or else believe because of the works themselves. Amen, amen, I say to you. Whoever believes in me will do the works that I do and will do greater ones than these because I am going to the Father. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you. This morning in our first reading from the Acts of the Apostles, it tells uh, the story of the first class of deacons. Uh, the, the Apostles, they, they choose a, a group of men to devote themselves to a ministry of, of service to, to the poor, the sick, the hungry, the marginalized, so that they, they can continue in their ministry of, of prayer and, and preaching. And to this day, deacons, deacons continue to serve our church in, in so many beautiful ways. And here in our parishes, we're, we're fortunate to have uh, Deacon Kevin Mastelon, who's here with us this morning assisting at Mass, and we have Deacon Guy Javarone, and uh, in, in just a few weeks, uh, Don, Don, you'll be ordained a deacon soon, and we're, guys, th- thank you so much for, for your ministry, and you're saying yes, saying yes to, to being uh, deacons in, in our church. And um, um, I'm also fortunate and, uh, and honored to, uh, to be called a, a son of a deacon myself. My, my dad is, a, is an ordained deacon as well. Do not let your hearts be troubled. Have faith. We hear Jesus speak these words in our gospel today. It takes place at the Last Supper, the night before he died. And he speaks these words, do not let your hearts be troubled, have faith, to a group of guys, to a group of people who just found out that he was about to leave them. And they get worried and upset. They're worried and upset about their future. Their future in a life without him. Now, it seems like this gospel reading was chosen for this particular Sunday as we continue to endure this pandemic. It seems like this gospel was picked on purpose for this crisis that we're all enduring together. Because let's face it, I think most of us have troubled hearts. Most of us are worried about our future. When will this quarantine end? When can I go back to work? When will I be able to get paid again? Get a paycheck so I can put food on the table? Support my family? What will life be like after this ends? And to top it all off, just this morning I read in the paper that, that 
Governor Cuomo is extending this, this quarantine until June 6th. We are worried, frustrated, and we're fretting. And then we hear the words of Jesus. Do not let your hearts be troubled. Have faith. Now, Jesus here is not being Pollyannish. He's merely wanting us to hold it together and to trust, to trust in him. We need to believe that through the Holy Spirit, he is guiding the minds, the hearts, the hands of all the brave men and women who are caring for the sick, who are working night and day to find a cure and a vaccine for this silent enemy that's affecting every aspect of our lives all over the world. You know, one of my my favorite lines from Scripture is uh, Psalm 37, verse 8. Do you remember what Psalm 37, verse 8 says? Do you remember? Do you know what it says? It says, do not fret. (laughs) It says, do not fret, because it only leads to evil. Do not fret, because it only leads to evil. Isn't it true? It's true, isn't it? When, when we fret, when we worry constantly about stuff, name the stuff. We all have our own stuff that we worry about, right? When our hearts are troubled and we fret about it, we worry about it, it leads to even more bad stuff, doesn't it? It does. When we worry, we stay up at night, we toss, we turn, we stare at the ceiling. We lose our appetites. We get grouchy and angry with people and shorts and patience. We develop ulcers. Sometimes, sometimes we turn to other stuff that we think that it'll just calm us down and, and just take the worries away, drugs, alcohol, you name it. There's a lot of stuff out there, unhealthy stuff that we try to calm our, our lives and our minds and our heart and our souls, souls with. But we get even more worried and upset, don't we, when we try to do that. Now think about it. Have you ever been around a worry wart? We've all been around worry warts. And it's not a pleasant experience, is it? It's not a pleasant experience to be with worry warts. Worry warts constantly have a dark cloud over their heads, don't they? And they just love dragging us underneath that dark cloud with them. And they drag us down. And I should know. I should know because I'm guilty of being a worry wart too at times. And when I find myself worrying and fretting, I need to stop myself and remember those words from Psalm 37, verse 8. Don't worry. Don't worry because it's it's only going to lead to evil and you're going to drag other people down with you. Do not let your heart be troubled. Have faith. Have faith. Have faith in Jesus. He's with us every step of the way. He's in charge. Jesus is in charge. So do not let your hearts be troubled. And let us continue to pray. To pray for healing for those who are sick. The people that are caring for them. In an end to all of this. And soon, because I'm sick of it. I don't know about you, but I'm totally sick of this. I want to go back to life as usual. I, want to, I don't want to see pictures in these pews in front of me. I want to see actual people, living and breathing people, sitting in these pews, staring back at all of us. 
And finally, finally, today, we celebrate Mother's Day, don't we? What a very special day in which we, we celebrate the life of our moms. In our gospel, Jesus also promises his, his apostles and us that he has prepared a place for us. And that place, of course, is heaven. A place that, is, that he has prepared for us through his life, his death, and his victory over death, his resurrection. And then, and then Peter begs to Jesus, Lord, show us the Father. We want to see the Father, Lord. Today we honor all the women who not only gave birth to us, but those women who have committed their lives to being there for us, right? Being there for us. Being there for us when we needed someone to turn to when we, are, when we were worried and fretting and anxious about life. The women who committed their lives to preparing a loving and nurturing home for us. In a sense, little heavens here on earth, right? The women who committed their lives to showing us the Father by teaching us about Jesus, how to pray to Jesus, how to be a disciple of Jesus, modeling that discipleship for us. These women, whom we call mom, and it's these women whom we call mom, Their faces have shown the faces of the Father for us. And so as we thank God today for the vocations of the diaconate and motherhood, let us also pray for ourselves. Let us pray that as men and women disciples, we too will carry on the mission of serving others, calming fears, and preparing a safe, joyful, and loving world for those whom we care for to dwell in. Now this seems like a daunting challenge. But don't fear. Don't worry. And don't fret. With Jesus on our side, who is the way, the truth, and the life, we've got nothing to fear. Amen? Amen. Amen. Let us stand to profess our faith. I believe in one God, the, the Father, Father, the, the Almighty, Almighty, Maker of heaven, of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of the Father, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us, for us and for our, and for our salvation, salvation, he came, came down, down from heaven. heaven. And, and by, by the Holy Spirit, Spirit who was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, Mary and became man. man. For, for our, our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in, in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right, the right hand of the Father. Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe, I believe in the Holy Spirit, Spirit the Lord, Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, Father and the Son, Son who with the Father and the Son is the door to glorify, glorified, and who has spoken, spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. With the eyes of faith, let us look to our Heavenly Father with all of our needs. For all of us baptized into Christ's church and the royal priesthood, may the Lord continue to increase our faith for the sake of his kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all in positions of authority, may God's grace enable them to lead with integrity, protecting life from conception through natural death, 
Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For any who are struggling to believe and those whose faith is weak, may Christ speak to their troubled hearts and give them hope. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of our mothers, living or dead, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those serving us during this pandemic, may they continue to bring comfort and peace to all those in need. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those suffering through illness, disease, or recovery, may the sick be healed and their caregivers given strength. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our brothers and sisters in Christ who have died, may they rejoice in the presence of our Heavenly Father. At this Mass, we remember Dale Kirch. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving and gracious God, we ask you to hear us and answer us in the name of your Son, our Savior, our risen Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Through the mingling of the water and wine, we come to share in the divinity of our Lord Jesus Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite hearts, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Lord, wash away our iniquity and cleanse us from all of our sins. Let us pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, who by the wonderful exchange effected in this sacrifice have made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead, grant, we pray, that as we come to know your truth, we may make it ours by a worthy way of life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. By the oblation of his body, he brought the sacrifices of old to fulfillment in the reality of the cross, and by commending himself to you for our salvation, showed himself the priest, the altar, and the lamb of sacrifice. Therefore, therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exult in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Lord, you are indeed holy, and you are the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, gave thanks, broke it, and giving it to his disciples, he said, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. (laughs) 
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, and he said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and to minister to you. And we pray humbly that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Terry, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have blessed you throughout the ages, you may merit to be co-heirs of eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. As sons and daughters of God, let us join together our hearts and our voices, praying in the words our Savior taught us. Our Father, Father who, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy, thy will be done, be done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses. trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, deliver us, we pray, from all evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but in our faith. And graciously grant your peace in unity in accordance with your will, and who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the risen Lord be with all of you. And with your spirit. Lamb of God. You You take take away away the the sins sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold, behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. Amen. Body of Christ. Amen. Praise to the Lord, the Almighty, the King of creation. O my soul, praise him, for he is your health and salvation. Come, all who hear, now to his altar draw near. 
joining in glad adoration. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Loving God, as a mother gives life and nourishment to her children, so you watch over your church. Bless all women, that they may be strengthened as Christian mothers. Let the example of their faith and love shine forth. Grant that we, their sons and daughters, may honor them always with a spirit of profound respect. Hail Mary, full, full of, of grace, grace. The, the Lord, Lord is, is with thee. thee. Blessed, Blessed art thou among, among women. women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Our Lady, Seed of Wisdom, pray for us. Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life. And we make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless us, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go forth in peace, proclaiming God as you go. Thanks be to God. And have a great week, everybody. Our closing hymn is number 381, Take the Word of God with You. Take the word of God with you as you go. Take the seeds of God's word and make them grow. Go in peace to serve the world. In peace to serve the world. Take the love of God, the love of God with you as you go. Take the peace of God with you as you go. Take the seeds of God's peace and make them grow. Go in peace to serve the world. In peace to serve the world. Take the love of God, the love of God with you as you go.